Alrighty, I'm finishing up the 5.3. Pickup tube's done. Everything's tightened, ready to roll. But I get a lot of flack from people giving me shit saying the cut down pan simply won't hold enough capacity. Well, I'm going to prove you wrong. Pan is empty, there's nothing in it, nice and clean and dry. It's tightened up, I don't have the oil filter on yet, which I will here in a second. So I position my camera. I hate doing this uh, one-handed. New Earl filter. Cheap shit, 5.30. Five quarts. Never been opened. Five quart jug. So, to prove to everybody that this holds five quarts, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you guys before I put the pan on the motor, obviously. When you're changing your oil, or anytime you change your filter, the fresh oil on the O-ring. You don't need a wrench or nothing, just hand tighten it. So the filter's on. Five quart jug in the cut Silverado pan. Here we go. Glug, glug, glug. Mm -hmm. Turn her sideways, get some air in there. Factory pan holds six and a half quarts, I believe. For presentation purposes, I'll dump the rest of it in. Get a little shake. Five quarts of oil. Silverado pan. You can get about two inches from the gasket surface so you're not you know inundating, not flooding the gasket or the seals with oil. Five quarts is perfectly fine for a mild street driven application. If you're gonna do a turbo, if you were going to you know forced induction, you know you can never go wrong with more volume. But five quarts for a 300, 350 horse engine that's gonna be in a cruiser, it's hardly gonna see wide open. I'm sure it will, but this is perfectly fine. That's it. Five quarts of oil. Fits perfectly fine in a cut down Silverado pan. Hell, you can even put another quarter in here. You want to run six if you want. You could run it all the way up to that line if you feel like it. But five to be on the safe side. Alrighty. Catch you guys later.